women's steeplechase final. 15 athletes on the line and from 2020. Abebe, Makita's Abebe Vithio, be just 21 years old. She's a 902 performer at her best. She was uh, fourth in the Olympic Games last year. There is Geruta, Nora Geruta, the world number two. Winner in Three Fontaine here in the season's best. Back on the 28th of May, she's uh, the third quick. Perez Chebutai, the Olympic champion from Tokyo in those colours of Uganda. Ninth fastest in history, Chemutai. Who will take this one out? Will it be fast? The world number five, work at Ketachu. Of Ethiopia is out there. So is uh, Chespo. And uh, six of the all-time top ten. It is going to be quick. It is going to be fierce. Who will take it out? I really do hope it's not going to be a slow, meandering affair. I don't think it will be. I think the Americans will want it to be kept at a healthy pace. Geruto to the four early on. The third quickest athlete. She would largely ran that race on her own, but Chiruto rarely has company. She blasted through her heats from 2.58 opening kilometre. And I thought, well, that's very impressive, Chiruto, but what if you've, if you've ran too hard, if you've left too much out there? Nora Chiruto didn't even get to go to Tokyo. Her allegiance wasn't sorted out in time, but she was still the number one on season's times last year. She's a super racer, Emma Koba, great technician. Geruto and Yavi, Coburn in third. On the outside there is uh, Uganda's Perez Gemutai, the Olympic champion. They're all having to go with it. You can't throw in the towel early on. Waiting for that one clock to split to come through, but it will be quick. Uh, anything under three minutes will be super fast. There it is, 2.57.27. Not world record pace, but it's quick enough to be the quickest time in the world this year if they maintain it. And what goes through? The Diamond League circuit away from championships. And at the moment, she is asking all the questions. Although, as I say that, moving up alongside her is the Bahraini Yavi. Former Kenya. We made her look, she made it look easy. Running 8.56 in Paris back on the 18th of June. What, some uh, four weeks ago? And the gap's now beginning to grow. And Coburn is struggling. She's back in sixth place. This couldn't be any more different than the men's race. That was such a slow, meandering affair. I want to say these women have gone through these first few laps faster than the men did. The men obviously turn on the heat and they finish really quickly. But Yavi and Jura too are head and shoulders above the rest of the field on paper. Some six and seven fa seconds faster than everyone else. So this is a good tactic from Chalutu and Yavi to try and burn off everybody else. And they've nearly managed it. Just Ethiopia's get a tune for company. Ethiopia have never had a champion in this women's steeplechase. Get a tune looking full of running. They're coming up to two kilometers now. Well, the championship record, mark your card, 857.84 by Beatrice Chepkowicz, the world record holder. She did that in Doha three years ago. Geruto, the tactic seems to be working. She's burning them off. 2K coming up for her. And the time at 2K, just waiting for it to come through. And it's 5.58 at 2K. And we're down to four, very nearly three. Yavi in second, the world number one. Getachu in third place. Geruto continues to press on the accelerator. She's got daylight. If she knew she'd got those three or four meters, she'd redouble her efforts. Two laps to run. And Geruto clears that one nicely. She's got a good hurdling technique, more traditional hurdling technique as uh, Geruto, Nora Geruto of Kazakhstan. Her last race win in the... Uh, Kazakhstan and Almaty, the capital, 9.16 she ran there, that was a solo run, this is a solo run as well because she's been in the front since the get-go, Geruto of Kazakhstan, Yavi of Bahrain, Getachu of Ethiopia and a baby of Ethiopia back in fourth place trying desperately to get back to them, she was fourth in Tokyo, she won't want to be fourth again. Makita Zabibe has put in a massive effort over the final 400 metres. If she, over the last 400 metres, if she can get back on terms with these guys, they've got just two water jumps left to go. We saw Al Bacardi, the water jump really decided that men's race. He flew off that, the Moroccan, to take the title. And Makita Zabibe, number three on the world list with her 9.03 time, is gliding through this field. If she can have some clean hurdles, she's really going to challenge for the medals. We thought it was three broken away, and suddenly, as we come up with one lap to go, there's four. 
time that Geruto has led the entire race. Moving through on the inside, cheekily moving through is the Bahraini vest of Winifred Mutila Yavi. But Geruto's having none of it. She's in the lead, Yavi, for the world number one this year for about 20 metres. Geruto goes past her as if to say, get out of it. The lead spot is mine. I will be in front. I'm going to control this. She leads with 300 metres to run into the back straight for the final time. Every hurdle now absolutely critical. Gets a two there. We're in work who had gets it through. The 26-year-old, a 907 athlete, heading from maximum pass and best here. If she can keep this going, 200 to run. Back in fourth place, Makita Zabebe again. Can the 21-year-old get on terms with his three in front of her? And Yavi takes that final water jump awfully. She lost three or four metres there. Geruto into the home straight, gets it to, grimacing, big and powerful, but she hasn't got the leg surely to catch Nora Geruto now, and she cruises towards the finish, it's going to be gone for Kazakhstan, the gap is widening all the time, and look at the clock, she's going to pulverise the championship record, gold, gold, and what a goal for Nora Geruto, boy, oh boy, Kazakhstan have gold. Ethiopia have silver. A baby does get the bronze. One place better than in Tokyo. And Yabi, the world number one coming into these championships, who was so mighty impressed with that victory a month ago in the French capital with 8.56, has to settle for a frustrating fourth. Brilliant running from Gaga. What a well-judged effort. Rounds might have been 9.14 there for Amy Pratt. Same as running, but... Chera too, she didn't get the chance to do Tokyo. She wasn't cleared to compete for Kazakhstan. With that awful clearance of the final water jump, zero dish, she'll regret that one. She, uh, for the Bahrain team, she's finished in fourth place in 9.01.31. Gay, she really tried to go with it early on and paid the price, finishing in eighth place eventually, 2017 world champion. What a race. I think that will go down as perhaps the greatest mass finish in the women's steeplechase in history. The first three, a long way, under nine minutes. Brave running from Getichu and Bebe, Bebe getting herself back into the into contention for a medal in the Super World to get herself back up there. Getichu. The Ethiopians really are getting their teeth, their teeth into the steeplechase on the men's and women's side. Nora Geruto, Nora Geruto breaking the championship record by, well, very nearly... Of five seconds, 8.53.02. The old championship record of uh, Chef Koech, 8.57.84. It is taking strides forward against the clock year after year as the women's team. And then she gets her gold medal. So That's what they do at, in cricket in Australia and have sort of uh, inflatable tubs around the outside and make people pay outrageously high prices for uh, a spot in those tubs in the sunshine. It's back in July 2018. That has to be the next target for an athlete like Geruto, who led the whole way. There it is, Geruto wins. Championship record, 8.53.02 in the win for Wakua Getachu, 8.54.61. And Abebe, a personal best, 8.56. And some great running from the places behind those medalists. National record for Geiger. National record for Amy Pratt for Great Britain. Pellas Gemutai, 9.21. Shemutai is a, a 901 performer. Won't have been happy with that run. Ugandan colours in chessboard two. Can go many, many seconds quicker than that. She's an 858 performer.